Hello guys and welcome back to another interesting tutorial. My name is Victor and today we will build a real-time searching functionality for your website using PHP and Ajax. Working with PHP we will use the video extension and I will also use a MySQL database. I have it here tutorial and then in this database I have a users table and in this table has two columns. The first one is ID and the second one is name. I have already four users in this table, so you do the same thing, create a, a database, create, insert a table and then insert in this table your users and then let's go ahead and create our first index.php file. I will paste the code here and I will save it and then I'm, I'm going to explain everything right. So we have an HTML tag and then and there is a head section and there is a body section. In the head section we have the page title and then we call the jQuery library. We have a little bit of styling for our show up ID and then there is style for the links from this show up ID. In the, in the body section we have a JavaScript and this JavaScript will do the whole real-time functionality. And below this JavaScript there is a field I have an input type text, the name is names and it has an ID which is search. Below this field we have another div ID which is show up. Uh, we have in our head section and pay attention that the display is none. We should set it to none because our JavaScript will um, change from none to a block and I will explain uh, when and how it, it will do it. So our JavaScript this JavaScript will be active right after our browser will open this uh, page because we can see here the document ready so when the document when the HTML document is ready uh, and there is a function which is kup this function detects if we typed in our field any uh, characters so it detects if we type anything in our search it has an ID here, which is search. When we type something there, this show function will change the display uh, from none to block. So it changes the display. And then we assign to our text the value from our field. So everything we type in this field, uh, JavaScript will assign to this text variable. And then we have our Ajax function and here we choose the method we want to use to send the data and then here is the file to which we will send our data and then we have the data here which is a, a txt variable and we assign to this txt variable the value from, from this field we have here we assign the JavaScript variable. And if everything is good and our Ajax function found this sar.php file, then we have a function which is success and this function will show the result from this search.php file in, in the show up div ID, which is below our input uh, field. We have a field here. So as you see here, we should create another search.php file. This file will look for, for users we, which has the name that we typed in our field. So let's go ahead and create another PHP file. This is search.php and I'm going to paste the code. So we have here a function which is search and this function has a parameter. Uh, and the next step we create our we create our connection to the database we have um, I mean I told you that we work with PDO so I have a MySQL database and my database in the, is on the local host I have um, a database which is tutorial and then the user is root and I don't have any password so I just leave it empty then we will filter the data using this HTML special charts and we we have the query here and first we are going to prepare this query and we want to select the name from users table where the name 
uh, is like is like the name that we wrote in our field. So this percent uh, character means that we want to get the names that have the characters that we typed in our in our field, uh, or it at the beginning, or at the end, or in the um, in the center of the of the any name that we have in the database. You'll understand later what I mean by this. So after we prepared our query, we want to execute it, and then we have our variable name, which is here in this uh, concat function. Uh, we assign to this variable the text, and this text is the is the parameter of, um, for this function. Next, we have our while, which checks if there is any user in the database that has the name that we typed in our field, then uh, it will show all of them as as links, and the name for this link for these links will be the, the user names. And then we call this function. So let's save this file. Let's go and open the browser. I'm going to type in localhost. So we have here our field from index.php. It's right there. And then we have in our database four users. Let's type in A. When we type it, when we type the first letter A, it should show the first three uh, users because in all of them, in all these names, there is an A. So let's try. A. Yeah, it shows the first three names: Andrew, Ashley, and Jace. If I, if I would type just E. It shows the same names because in, in Tom, Tom doesn't have any A or E. If I continue with, an, with another N, no, if I continue, for example, A and N, it shows just Andrew because only Andrew has A and N together. Um, so it, it, it lo it's looking for users that have the characters that we typed in in our field it has those characters or at the beginning or at the end or in the middle of the of the name and it, it shows all those names uh, that contain these uh, characters if i type tom it shows only tom so that's it for today uh, that's the functionality i i wanted to build in this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to um, leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for this channel and share it with your friends. Thank you and see you in the next video tutorial.